My parents spit on my heart and soul growing up because I couldn't measure up to my younger brother, so I ran away, now seven years later, they want to reconnect and play happy family. For whatever reason, my parents, 54M and 50F, didn't want me, 25F. Once they had my brother, who I'll call Adam, 20M, I was pretty much ignored. They didn't abuse me, but I was definitely neglected. Everything was about Adam and how smart he was, how athletic he was, or how he was just the best thing since sliced bread. Then there was me, a pretty average kid who got decent grades, didn't play sports, wasn't super popular, and liked to read books. I can't tell you how many times I heard, why can't you be more like Adam? What made me cut off my family was when they didn't attend my high school graduation. Adam had gotten hurt that morning, a sprained ankle I was eventually told, and our parents rushed him to the ER because he swore up and down that he had broken his leg. I only got one text from my mom telling me they would make it up to me with a dinner at some family restaurant I mildly enjoyed. I was done after that. I had been used to being neglected or forgotten about, but I thought they would at least attend my graduation. I moved out that summer to live with my cousin, 30F, and her wife in Arizona. Then I blocked my parents, and they haven't been in my life since. My family did try to get in contact with me after I left, but it was mostly just to tell me I was a bad daughter, overly sensitive, and didn't care about Adam. Years later, I still don't have any contact with them. I'm now married to my husband John, 26M, who loves me and treats me like I matter. We also have a daughter, 2F, that I love more than the world itself. I have a close-knit group of friends, and a job that makes decent money and that I enjoy. I'm not saying my life is perfect or a dream, but it's definitely leagues better than my childhood. Which brings me to last week, when my cousin called to tell me they had a message from my parents and my brother. This isn't anything new, but the message itself was. Instead of the usual blame game, my cousin told me that they wanted to apologize for everything. With Father's Day coming up, they were hoping I could come down to visit with my family, and we could have a discussion. I know most people would scream, don't go, it's a trap, they want something from you, but I'm not so sure. For one thing, none of them have ever reached out to apologize for anything towards me. But I still have connections to my extended family, so I have information about my parents and Adam from them. None of them are sick or need an organ. They're not in debt and need help with finances, my parents aren't hoping to retire and want to be supported, and Adam doesn't need help with student loans or anything of that sort. So it could be genuine. But at the same time, I don't know if I care enough to have a discussion. My life has been great without them, so why do I need them now? I wanted them as a kid, but not anymore. However, John says this could be a genuine olive branch since they never apologize. He might be right. Even if I don't agree to have contact, I might finally get some closure, or at least some answers as to why they didn't want me, or why Adam was so much better than me. Should I hear them out, or just tell my cousin to tell them to go step on Legos? I'll take any advice at this point. Update 1. Hey guys, a lot of you gave solid advice on my first post, and I really appreciate it. I also asked my friends for their advice, but their suggestions were more in the bust their kneecap school of thought. Funny, but not so helpful at the time. Anyway, even though many of you warned me, I was too curious not to talk to my family. Still, I told my cousin to inform them that I was not meeting them for Father's Day. I had always intended to reject that idea because I wanted to celebrate John and my father-in-law for being awesome. Instead, I suggested a Zoom meeting. I was expecting them to pitch a fit, but they agreed. Yesterday, we met on Zoom. I made sure to have a meeting at my cousin's house because my house is my space, and I don't like intruders, whether in person or virtual. John was hiding in the room out of sight, and my daughter was with my cousin's wife. Long story short, my mother is a revolving door, and both my parents are idiots. To make it a longer story, my mother had an affair with my dad's older brother, Rick, 60M, and got caught after she found out she was pregnant. My dad forgave her and agreed to raise me as his own as long as they never did a paternity test. Apparently, it was easier to act as my father if he didn't have confirmation that I was his brother's child. Spoiler alert, I'm not Rick's kid. Unfortunately for me, I have always been my dad's biological daughter. Rick apparently can't have kids, and my dad only found out on Mother's Day when Rick's wife made a joke about it. So, my parents resented me all this time because they were convinced I was Rick's child, despite not having proof. It didn't help that I was just so mediocre compared to Adam, like how Rick is compared to my dad. What I mean by that is my dad has a fancy desk job and a titled position, and Rick is just your average truck driver. So, clearly that must have meant I couldn't be my father's child. They both begged for forgiveness. My mom tried to blame my dad for not taking the test, and my dad tried to blame my mom for being a truck stop for Rick. But they both wanted me to forgive them because they were sick with regret over how they treated me due to a misunderstanding. They swore up and down that, even if they weren't always there for me, they still loved me, were still my parents, and we could be a real family now that the misunderstanding was finally cleared up. Even Adam was pushing hard for it. People ask about our relationship in my last post, but there's not really much to say. He was like a roommate. I was never bullied by him, and he didn't really interact with me, though he definitely reveled in our parents' favoritism. Still, they were all very sorry, but I had to understand why my parents acted like they did. 
Now, everyone wants to make it up to me, be part of my life again, and be the best grandparents and uncle they can be to my daughter. I obviously told them no. Anyone with eyes could see they just wanted forgiveness to make themselves feel better. I told them that my life was better without them, and I didn't need them anymore. They got mad at that and called me heartless, cruel, and a bad daughter for being so unforgiving and not more understanding towards them. Because it was just a mistake that I had a crappy childhood and had to play second fiddle to Adam. I just told them to forget I existed and ended the call. Then I burst into tears, and my husband had to comfort me. Their insults didn't hurt me, even after all this time of no contact, I'm used to that. But all the time feeling like crap and sewer slidal and wondering what I did to deserve my mistreatment was just a waste. All because my parents were massive douche canoes with chicken nuggets for brains. I'm glad I didn't waste money to go see them. I'm also glad I heard them out for my own closure. They're trying to aggressively reach out and contact me, even getting other relatives to do so. I've already received a bunch of emails and texts this morning ranging from please to just hear them out, to insults about being cruel and heartless. I've been ignoring them because I've washed my hands of my family and will continue to remain in no contact. So yeah, thank you for all your advice, it meant a lot.